Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So I've got another quick video for you. And today I wanted to show you my stationary empties from January 2022 to June 2022. I kept all of the empties that I've had so far into this little bag and we're just gonna take a look at it. So if you've been following my channel, you might know that I'm in the middle of a move right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and dispose of whatever I have in this bag because this is literally trash. So I'm not gonna be taking this with me to a new place. So I'm going to film this video just so I have a record of my stats. And then I'm gonna start over with a fresh pouch when we move to our new place. All right, so let's just take a look. I have a lot of empties in here. Here's what it looks like on the inside, a little sneak peek. And let's start with the sticker sheets. So here are some sticker sheets that I used up. These are ripped up pages from my antiquarian sticker book. This book right here, it has a lot of stickers. I got this book over the holidays in 2020, I believe. So I've had this for a good while. And this year I decided to track the pages that I used up by ripping them out and putting them in my pouch. So let's count how many sheets I have in here. So I have eight empty pages so far, but I also have a couple of sticker sheets that I used up. This one is a page from my Happy Planner Journaling Doodles book. I took a picture of what it looked like before, but these are little label stickers and I managed to use this all up for my baby journal. And then I have a sterling ink sticker sheet here. These are all black and white florals, I believe. And I love, love, love using this sheet. So I'm sad that it's all gone, but I have plenty of other stickers to enjoy as well. And then I have a pip stick sticker sheet here. And this is, oh, I can't even remember what sheet this is. So I'm going to have to dig through my phone to see which one, but it's hard to see on the camera, I think, because it's clear, but there you go. One pip stick sticker sheet. And let's see if I have any more stickers in this little pouch. I believe that's it. So moving on, I have this little baggie here with three empty Canon zinc papers. So I love printing out pictures and sticking them into my journals. So I went through a lot of zinc paper. This is 30 sheets and all, so I go through these pretty quickly. So I always keep a stock of these, but I think they're worth it because again, I love printing out memories and putting them in my journal. So there's that. And then this one is film for my Instax mini printer. So I have two mini printers, the Instax mini SP2 and then my Canon IV. So I use my Instax mini less frequently just because the film is more expensive, but generally I use this for Journal deco, planner deco, so I can show you real quick. Here's an example. So this is part of my planner deco and I think it adds a lot of fun to my planners in journal setups. And then here's another one in the back. I also like to keep Instax prints in my wallet for family pictures and all that. All right, and then I have two of these tapes for my label maker. I have red and green and actually, I didn't even use these. I sacrificed them so that my son would leave my clear tapes alone. He found my box of labels and rather than telling him, no, you can't touch that, I usually just give him a little something to keep him distracted and happy. So I decided to sacrifice these two for him because I don't really use these colors anyway. So, oh well, <laughs> there you go. So he completely pulled out this tape here. So, oh well. I bought these in a set, so the other colors I do use, but these two I knew for sure that I was never going to be using, so thank you for your service. And then next I have this empty Tombow tape runner. This tape is another one of those things that I go through pretty quickly because I love pasting in things into my planners and journals. And then finally I have a glue stick, so this is the Elmer's glue extra strength glue stick right there. And I've actually been using this for a good while now. I prefer using my tape runner, so I go through this pretty quickly. But this one did take me some time to use up, but I finally did, so I'm really excited about that. And that is it so far for my stationary MPs. So there we go. That's a lot less than I thought, but I definitely went through a fair amount of stickers, and I'm really happy about that. Hi, this is me from the future. I just realized that I forgot to include my project pen empties into my video the other day. I'm so sorry. This move just has my brain scattered all over the place, but I keep my project pen empties in this pouch and I forgot to take it out when I was filming, which is why I forgot it in the first place. So I'm just gonna add this little clip in. So if you watched my last project pen update, none of this would be new. I filled up this A6 Tomoe River paper notebook for my first journal of the year. 
And then I have this Pipstick sticker sheet that I emptied out. And then my Zebra Sarasa gel pen. So I have five of these. I finished one and I'm working on the second one. And yeah, I just wanted to include this so that later on in the year I can have a proper tally of all of my empties. But overall, this isn't a lot of empties, is it? I guess that goes to show how much I really don't need if I can get by on this many for half the year. That said, I wasn't really doing a lot of decorating this year just because I felt burnt out and then with the move, I just was way too overwhelmed for anything else. So we'll see how things look at the end of the year when hopefully I have the mental capacity again to decorate my pages and all that. But so far, here it is. My stationery empties for January to June. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this was inspiring to you. If you have any stationery empties that you want to share with me, I would love to hear about them. Until then, thank you so much for watching this video. This is Spellbound Notes and I will see you next time. Bye!